a chemistry test would have proved that there is no on-screen chemistry between Nicole Kidman and Zac Efron. And that's not even the biggest issue with this film. Here's my review of Netflix's new rom-com, A Family Affair. Alongside Nicole Kidman and Zac Efron are Joey King, Kathy Bates, Sherry Cola, and Liza Kashi. Nicole Kidman plays an established author who kindles a relationship with Zac Efron's character, who is a megastar. He's an actor. He's obnoxious to his long-suffering personal assistant, played by Joey King, who wants career expedience by being an associate producer on his next film project. Now, this sounds familiar, I'm sure. We've seen films like this a hundred times. This is very formulaic. There is nothing new here. The There is an obvious age gap between Nicole Kidman's character and Zac Efron, and they play that as a part of the plot without belaboring the point. They really just mention it once, that so there's a 16-year gap in their ages. That's not even the biggest. Like, it's not funny. It's The humor is very dry. The the jokes fall flat. It's not well written. And I feel like Joey King is the only one who knew the assignment. My biggest issue is that we meet Zac Efron's character. He plays Chris Cole, who's supposed to be this big mega star. I was never convinced that he was. He really didn't convey that. There wasn't much fanfare associated with his character. We meet him and he is not a good person. He's a prick to Joey King's character and ends up dating her mom. And we're to believe that her mom, played by Nicole Kidman, she's Brooke, she's a widow. She is an established author. And we're supposed to believe that she can change him because he is not a good person she has no idea really who he is and that her daughter has been working for him and has been suffering really under his iron-fisted rule. He's very unreasonable as the star. And it's just this old tired trope that uh, people who work for superstars are not treated well, you know. And so we're supposed to believe that this is how they are with their employees, but somehow in romantic relationships, they're better. <laughs> That's a big mistake with this script. He is not a good person. And we meet Nicole's character and she is a good person. She's a good mother. She's a good writer. She's even loved by her late husband's mother, her uh, mother-in-law, played by Kathy Bates. And she sees something in him that none of us, the rest of us, the viewers, or even her daughter, played by Joey King, we don't see what she sees. And the arc of his character it's, it, he doesn't grow in any major way. They try to convey growth, but it falls flat. This is my problem with rom-coms, this very problem, because we have these women falling for these men and they're just, it's not an opposite attract. That is tired. That's so Disney-fied. He's so microaggressive <laughs> to Joey King and then she's got to set aside what she knows about him to please her mother. It's just, it's a mess. It's not good. The chemistry is not believable. There's no, literally no electricity between Nicole Kidman and Zac Efron. Zac Efron's character has no redeeming qualities. And by the end of the film, we're supposed to believe that he is really in love with Nicole Kidman's character. After watching it, and there's no chemistry, we're supposed to believe that he after learning that he is so obnoxious, so unreasonable to his employee, that he is a better man and is worthy of Nicole Kidman. It's tired. It's not good. It's not well written, but it's successful. <laughs> it's on Netflix. Have at it, if you will. It's probably number one already, which is just strange. But anyway, A Family Affair which by the way, isn't even a good title. It doesn't even make sense in the larger story and narrative of it all, but 
It's right there on Netflix. Family Affair is currently streaming on Netflix now.